Yo, 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 wrestling fans, this Sunday, July the 25th, JTG joins us in MWF Studios in Melrose, Massachusetts for a series of Wrestling Insider tapings and live cyber autograph signing. Want to join us in studio live with JTG? Join the Boston Wrestling Patreon family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling or pre-order your photo. JTG will autograph and personalize live on the air and give you a shout out at bostonwrestling.com. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. Johnny, the fans just haven't asked for it, they have demanded it. This August, we're headed back to Tampa for Russell House 2. WrestleMania weekend, we brought you Sinister Minister James Mitchell, TJP, Demolition Smash, Al Snow, Dutch Mantel Zeb Coulter, JTG of Crime Time, and WWE Hall of Famer Gerald Briscoe for in-depth interviews and live interactive cyber autograph signings. And if you want our Wednesday Night Wrestling Insider Special edition episodes to continue, we need your help to bring these superstars careers and lives to life. Bringing you free content seven days each week is an expensive proposition between appearance fees, air travel, renting the house, the equipment, and everything that goes in to a week of shooting. We can't do it without you. As we prepare to return to producing live and ring events, help us bring you the superstars and legends of yesterday and tomorrow by visiting Indiegogo now and check out some of the great rewards. Wrestling fans, it's going to be a wild week in Tampa the first week in August. Get ready for Wrestle House 2. So I believe April the 7th, 1995, just a couple of days after WrestleMania 11 in Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, you wind up in a match with uh, the one, the only, the man that was guided by this guy, The Undertaker. Memories of wrestling The Undertaker in Smoky Mountain. We had a good time. And he was like, after the match, he came up to me. He said, New Jack, everybody that I talked to, they said you were going to be impossible to work with. <laughs> He said most of the guys was like, he, you can't work with him. He said, but if there's anything I can ever do for you, if you need help, he said, call me. Because we put that motherfucker's ass over. And one of the funny things I did that night, I had a two pool that day. So we show up and my jaw is swollen. I can't talk. And I was like, Mustafa, let's go to Walmart. He's like, what? I said, just trust me, let's go to Walmart. He was like, all right. So we go to Walmart. I go in the toy station. And I bought this baby doll. It was about this high. We came to the ring. And I walked in the ring. I had on this long trench Raider jacket. And I had the baby doll stuck down in my jacket with a noose around his neck. And I stood there and held it up and just let it swing back and forth. And they lost their motherfucking mind. Mark was like. <sighs> <laughs> was he in the ring at this point or no? Yeah. He already did his entrance? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was like, oh God. Right? <laughs> and every time he would come near me, I would scream and run. He grabbed, grabbed me by my shirt. I almost ran out my shirt trying to get away, get away from him. And he was like, Jack, if they put my character over like that in WWF, it would be so much easier to do. 
He said, but what you did was the way it was supposed to be done. You ran like it was Michael Myers coming out. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, and, and he always told me, he said, if there's anything I could ever do to help you out, let me know. Was Paul Bearer there too? Yeah. Did you interact with him at all? Yeah. What did you think of him? I thought he was cool. Yeah. I love that guy. Yeah, I thought he was cool. Oh, uh, we miss him. Yeah. Still, we have our tribute to him on the set. Uh, the match, though, it was uh, it was him and Bo um, sorry Tracy Smothers against you guys in a flag match. What kind of a flag match were you guys having? I had a flag made. It was a black flag with a white X in the middle. Mm -hmm. They had the rebel flag. <laughs> so the loser got buried under the flag. Okay. So we had cheated on Tracy, and we beat Tracy and Bob, I think. The second night you did a six man. Yeah. With Armstrong. Yeah. But we buried him in that flag. So the Undertaker was brought in to help them get revenge on us. And that's how it happened. Were you pumped to find out that you were working Undertaker when you found out when you were doing the build to it? Not really. Really? Huh? One of the big names in the industry like that? It didn't... I mean, I mean, I was flattered, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I didn't, I, I didn't fucking mark the fuck out. Was... Thank you for joining us. Please give the video a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel to enjoy more great content. Don't forget, you can help keep wrestling legends working. Check out our eBay store and join the Boston Wrestling family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling so we can produce more in-depth shoot interviews.